this is exercise 5-3. We're going to convert temporary dimensions to permanent dimensions. I have I dimensions RVT file open in Revit. I'm going to activate the ground floor admin wing plan and I'm going to select the wall indicated. So it looks like it's the wall between these two offices right here. Two dimensions will appear. So I've got a 14 foot dimension and an 11 foot dimension. There's a small dimension icon visible right here. This icon converts a temporary dimension to a permanent dimension. We're going to left click on this and then you can see that those were temporary. You can tell they're temporary because they were blue. And then I clicked on the little icon and now they are permanent dimensions. We're going to drag the dimensions. So we're going to click on the dimensions and we're going to drag them below the view. So down here. We're going to click on the dimensions so they highlight, and then we're going to click on the witness grip line as indicated. So this is the witness line right here, this grip. We're going to click so it um, drag the endpoint to increase the gap between the wall and the witness line, and then we're going to release the gap. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. And you're going to see it moves. So I'm just going to click on it until it moves over actually to the outside face of this wall. That's what it was doing. So when I just clicked on it, that's to the center, inside face of the wall. Click one more time, it goes to the outside face of the wall. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it and I want to drag it over to the outside face of this wall. All right. And then I have this dimension, which also matches the dimension in the book. So that's just some ways, again, to change temporary dimensions like this to permanent dimensions, and then to, again, move those witness lines, which is something that we'll have to do frequently.